Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I know it was a long time from the my from the time I released my last video for the, my 3D Delta printer, but this time I have something new. I will tell you more about this CNC milling machine. This is my new project, uh, my custom made CNC milling machine, it's not completely finished but I just gonna talk a little, about, a little bit about this. So this is mostly my design, I saw very similar designs as this one, uh, this is what I designed for my needs, for what I'm going to do. The build size is uh, not a huge. The most important thing about this machine that this machine is very rigid. So the build, uh, the build volume of this machine is 180 mil on Y axis, 330 mil on uh, X axis, and it's uh, 200 mil on uh, Z axis. Uh, the most most attention I was paying on this build is uh, to have very solid and rigid construction to avoid uh, all of the vibrations and uh, unnecessary uh, wobbles. So I used mostly I used the 20 millimeters thick aluminium plates and 80 by 80 millimeters aluminium extrusions. I still need to make the stand for this machine because this is at the moment on my working uh, bench, which is not the greatest because this is already very heavy. It's over 100 kilograms now, so I don't have a chance to move it alone, to move it away on uh, some other spot by myself. So I will need to have a help for another person or even two more person I will be able to take some of the bits and pieces off so I'm using the linear rails I'm using are HGR20 it's a 16 millimeters ball screws the stepper motors, motors are NEMA 24 they're closed loop uh, they are stepper online as you can see I got them from Stepper Online. They are very good. They're not losing the st steps. Of course, they're closed loop. Uh, they can do it. For the start, I'm using uh, the cheap Chinese uh, spindle. It's 2.2 kilowatts. But I didn't want to spend uh, crazy money on this because this is uh, my first machine and it's uh, easy to do the upgrades on this. So the VFT and the spindle are Chinese, cheaper, cheaper one, but that's going to be great for the start. The Weiss is 125 millimeters wide, which is <laughs> more than enough probably I will ever use. So this is the enclosure for my electronics. The brain of this box, of this machine, is a uh, cookies. 57 CNC board which have all of the needed stuff you will ever need for the CNC and uh, you can even expand it this is my temporary power supply for the board I have a big power supply for the stepper motors it's uh, 20, amp 20 amps so I have 5 amps uh, reserve on it that's the drivers for the stepper motors it's not the best wiring I ever done, but uh, for the first build and this is going, this still is going to be in the test, and there is going to be changes on this. It's really good. Like you can see the the and the stop switches, they are just temporarily here. There is another one here. Uh, can see on the x-axis as well 
you can see that I already tested this machine, you can see the chips around. My water cooling tank. My water cooling radiator on the back and the fans. As you can see there is a wiring all on the back. Nothing uh, completely finished as I said already. But this is first machine I ever built, I mean the first CNC milling machine I ever built, so it's really good on that side. This is the first test I did, and uh, for the first uh, milling everything is in the size, like almost perfectly. I maybe need to tune it a little bit, but this square is 20 by 20 millimeters and it's out of the measure and for 100, 100 of mil. So guys that will be it for this video. Uh, I will show you a few more things in the next video, I will just make a one short video how I was uh, preparing this stuff as uh, all of the aluminium plates, uh, I was drilling the holes uh, then the threads that needed to be in the aluminium, I tapped the threads as well. I countersink the holes as well for the for the heads of the screws. Literally everything on this machine is uh, made by the hand. There was the only the only uh, cutting uh, the machine cutting was being the plates. I ordered them uh, on to, to be on the cut it to the size, but everything else is did by my hands in the help with uh, this drill and uh, some of the cutting like this is done with my Makita jig so the threads I was stepping them with the, with the drill as well that's it mostly so guys I hope you enjoyed this short video and uh, I will keep post with uh, my new video uh, how this machine works and uh, what I'm going to do about it. Until then, thank you for watching. If you didn't subscribe to my channel, please do it. That will help me uh, because I want to grow this channel. Uh, I will make the new video as I get the times. I will try to get it soon. So until then, see you and stay safe, bye.